This is downtown Nashville during CMA Fest. Right behind me is Nissan Stadium. This is one of the last years that this stadium will be used for CMA Fest. Those concerts are only going to happen for a few more years because they're building a brand new stadium on the other side of that stadium. So why is downtown important to explore while you're here for CMA Fest? Well, let me give you a few reasons. The food, the attractions, the people watching, that's amazing and the how they get around the transportation first off transportation here in the city of nashville is terrible so don't take it simple as that you do have to keep in mind parking in downtown nashville is going to be extraordinarily expensive so an insider's tip is park at a walmart and uber in leave your car at a walmart or one of the hotels towards the donaldson area here are three attractions that you can find outside of Broadway that you need to visit. Number one is the Country Music Hall of Fame. This is a great museum that has a ton of different archival things around country music. The second one is the Tennessee State Museum, which is a, about a mile and a half away from this area, maybe two miles away. But the Tennessee State Museum is the largest collection of Tennessee memorabilia in the world. If you want a free tour, there's the Tennessee State Capitol. The Tennessee State Capitol basically has tours on the hour, Monday through Friday. This is a great place to learn the history of the Tennessee General Assembly and also learn about the government of the state of Tennessee. Another attraction that you can find in downtown Nashville is the Ryman Auditorium. They have the self-guided tour, then they also have a few backstage guided tours depending on who's playing that evening. If you want to learn about the history of music, the Ryman is one of the best attractions that you can find in all of the city of Nashville. You may be tempted to go in and out of these bars to eat some of the bar food. Guess what? It is bar food. There is better options if you watch the rest of this video. Let's start with breakfast. Over on uh, Representative John Lewis Way or Fifth Avenue, you have a place called Rise. This is a place that makes their biscuits fresh every single day. I would recommend the Nashville Hot Chicken Biscuit for a great breakfast. Another place that you can find great breakfast is Mimo. This is in the corner of the Four Seasons Hotel. This is the place where you can get a great brunch, also amazing pastries like that Nutella banana bread. That's one of my favorite things in the city of Nashville. Now let's talk about coffee. You have Cafe Intermezzo, which is a Mediterranean themed coffee shop with amazing hot chocolate. You have an elixir, which is found at Fifth and Broadway. Uh, they have one of the best chais in Nashville. Then you also have Puckett's. Guess what, if you buy a Puckett's Orca mug or a little thermos, you can get free coffee refills as long as you bring that thing. So if you want free coffee, you just spend 25 or $30, buy that tumbler, and then get some free coffee from Puckett's. And that's available at all of their locations throughout Tennessee. Now let's talk about lunch. While you're at Puckett's refilling your coffee, you can get a great lunch there. One of my favorite things there is the Piggy Mac. Uh, that's basically pulled pork on top of mac and cheese. But there's many other southern options at Puckett's as well. And if you're in downtown Nashville, probably the best place to be for lunch is Assembly Food Hall. This is a variety of local Nashville restaurants, so you can truly taste your way through Nashville by visiting Assembly Food Hall. Now it's time for dinner. So Assembly Food Hall is a great option for that. Also, while you're at Fifth and Broad, you can just make your way down the elevator and you can check out Eddie V's, 1230 Club, Blanco, Slim and Huskies, Hattie V's. There's a lot of options at Fifth and Broadway. There's also a ton of steakhouses in downtown Nashville, one of the best being the Southern. If you need a place to relax and get out of the sun, here are three recommendations for you. Fifth and Broadway and Assembly Food Hall, hotel lobbies and bars, and also the Farmer's Market in Bicentennial Capital Mall State Park. Let's talk about walkability from downtown Nashville. Two neighborhoods that you can walk to, the Gulch and Germantown. Other neighborhoods that you can't really walk to from downtown Nashville, uh, Wedgwood Houston, East Nashville, Berry Hill, Midtown, and there's a few other ones that are pretty far away that you may have to take an Uber to. All right, so I'm here at downtown Nashville on Broadway. This is the main corridor for CMA Fest. This entire five blocks will be shut down. It's going to be a lot of different vendors. So what you need to know about Broadway, all these bars are going to be open. Some of them will have private events. Some of them will have lines to wait for ticketed events at these places. But most of these bars will be open. The best of the best of the country music artists will be here in the city of Nashville. And you have no idea if they're going to be doing any pop-up dive bars. That's a very common thing that happens during CMA Fest. 
So make sure to be following your favorite artist's social media because they may say, hey, I'm coming over to Tootsie's and I'm singing a couple songs just because I love Tootsie's. So you never know when that's going to happen here. There's going to be a lot of vendors like Out of Hope Potatoes, uh, Dr. Pepper, a lot of other vendors are going to be found up and down Broadway. Some food, more of a, some attraction based vendors and other things. Uh, there's going to be water tents here, so make sure to bring a water bottle. Now let's talk about bags. This is a clear bag policy, so if you're bringing a bag, you have to have a clear bag. Uh, no coolers are allowed down here. Uh, there's different concert venues that are off this corridor. For example, it'll be back where the stadium was, that's where the Chevy concert area usually is. And then in some of these parking lots found throughout the corridor, there's going to be like other concert areas. And then also there's concerts at Ascent Amphitheater. So it's going to be a busy week, and we hope that you guys have a blast. While you're downtown, 2nd Avenue is shut down. And it's been shut down for a while, and they're going to be shut down for another nine months. So if you want to support local businesses, make sure to go down 2nd Avenue and show them some love. Don't just show all Broadway love because they're making enough money uh, as it is. Show some of the businesses on 2nd Avenue some love and support them as well. Let us know if you are in Nashville for CMA Fest 2024. I'm Stuart Deming of Explore Nash. Thank you for exploring with us.